I'm Jen Bachi Dineline, and I graduated in 1999, so I was here from uh, 95 through 99. Um, in addition to being a cheerleader, I was the coach from 2004 through 2012. Right here, I have a set of pom-poms. The style has not varied too much. Um, when I was a freshman, we had one plain orange and one plain maroon, um, and then when I became coach, I wanted to go back to the one of each because I think that makes a nice visual effect. It's called the New Crusade, Susquehanna Athletics 2007-2008. Um, I am admittedly one of those stubborn, stubborn diehards who will love and cling to the Crusader name all the rest of my life. So back in the 20s, the NCAA was not the big juggernaut that it is now. In fact, I'm not even sure it existed. So there wasn't a lot of oversight into college athletics. and. So schools were basically using people on their football teams who were not students, like, you know, ringers. And Susquehanna did dabble in that a little bit, apparently. And Luther Grossman was very much against that. And so he, he his mission as athletic director was to have teams that were representative of Susquehanna. So it was only Susquehanna students. And this somehow caught the attention of a, um, a sports editor in Philadelphia and so he wrote a big article about it and he referred to Grossman's teams as Grossman's Little Crusaders and so that stuck and that's how we became known as the Crusaders. You know from my time as coach sometimes I go back to try and find some information about cheerleading like well before me and there's not a lot of our history that's recorded or kind of like the forgotten sport. Right. Because <laughs> we are a varsity sport Mm -hmm. I, it doesn't always get promoted that way, but we get varsity letters and everything. So um, I know that it's more recent history, but I thought if I could bring some of my stuff, since I do have a longer history having been an athlete and a coach, I thought we could at least pre preserve some of that. My sister came to SU, and she was going into her senior year, and she was on the cheerleading squad. And middle of the summer she got a phone call from the coach um, who actually had been my coach as well she was she was here for eight years um, and she said I I've just resigned so they're gonna be looking for a new coach just wanted to let you all know and so she called me up right away she's like you know they need a new coach at SU <laughs> and I was kind of at a point in my life where I was ready to get out of the city so I applied for the job and I got the job and came up here and I stayed for eight years. My freshman year for football season, I didn't cheer. I didn't, I didn't make the squad, only three freshmen did that, that season. Um, so I was the sideline reporter for WQSU during football games. I did not go Greek when I was in college, but when I was, while I was here coaching, um, Zeta needed an advisor and my sister had been a Zeta. So, um, and we didn't have a lot of alums right here in the area. So one of my cheerleaders was also a Zeta, and she said, Coach, would you like to be our advisor? How, how was that, if you don't mind my asking? Oh, I love it. Um, I love the girls. I don't get up here as much as I would like anymore. Um, we do have other advisors. Keely Schock, who, lives in, or who works in events management, um, she's also one of the advisors, so she's here every day, so that's good. My final year as coach, um, which I didn't realize it at the time, homecoming was actually the same date. Or no, it was a week later. It was, it was an early homecoming like this. Um, a week before homecoming, uh, it was 2011, that was, uh, was that Lee, Hurricane Lee, uh, or the big tropical storms that flooded everything. Yes. A lot of rain. Um, so we didn't get to practice on the football field like we usually do to practice our homecoming routine, our halftime routine. Um, so we, we were practicing it on the field the first time, like the morning of, um, of homecoming. And I had had surgery the week before. Um, my first day back was Monday before homecoming and I couldn't like stand. I, I still had to be sitting so they wheeled me around in my office chair and like okay you sit over here and watch from here and then we'll move you over here and they gave me flowers at the end of practice and um, and then so they their homecoming routine that week was like the, the best one they've ever done in all of my years of coaching. I just like bawled at the end of it and there's a picture that Gordon took um, at the end of the routine and they're all hugging me and it's like one of my favorite pictures ever like I, I still get emotional talking about it obviously so that's probably my favorite moment um, of coaching ever